This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related, and today we have some Stadia news to cover. We'll be covering the biggest highlights from the latest This Week on Stadia blog post, which includes an update for Stadia Pro Trials that makes it even easier to try Stadia out, a free game that anyone can claim no matter whether you're a Stadia Pro subscriber or not that will be yours to keep forever, a new Stadia Pro game available for all Pro members starting today, a huge amount of sales, as well as January Stadia Pro game lineup. But before we dive into all that, we'll be covering the latest patch to arrive on Stadia for Cyberpunk 2077. Patch 1.05 has officially arrived on Google Stadia, bringing plenty of bug fixes and tweaks to the Stadia version of the game. That said, there are two major changes within this patch that I want to go over and focus on. First up is the addition of a field of view slider. You can now go from 80 to 70. Yes, that's right, it can only go lower. Now that may seem a bit odd, but I will say if you don't mind playing on a lower field of view, it really does make the experience quite a bit smoother on the game in terms of frame rate. I did notice a pretty significant increase in frame rate when playing on visuals mode when I tried it out for just a bit. It's not my personal preference to play at a lower field of view, I much prefer playing at a higher one, but for those who can stand it, it's definitely worth checking out. As for the second part of the patch I feel is worth talking about, well, it's the fact that it appears that we we once again have gotten a bit of a visual upgrade. This applies to both the visual and frame rate mode within the game. Now, my best guess here as to what's improving the sharpness of the image is that the game is using a higher dynamic resolution than before. But like I said, this is just a guess of mine, so don't take that word as proof. Here you can see an example of the difference in sharpness. The first image you're seeing right now is from patch 1.04. This was already a noticeable improvement over what we got at launch, but patch 1.05 seems to improve it even further. It's pretty clear to see the improvement when it comes to the in-game signs at a distance. They were mostly a blur before from far away, but now you can really see what the image is. I should note that I've also heard a few reports from people saying that they've seen an increase in effects in games, such as better lighting and increased fogs in areas that contain it. But I don't personally have a point of reference to prove that that's the case. Normally, I'm not the one to cover patch notes on Stadia news videos, but the changes being made here are super interesting to see as it's rare that we see a game actively look better patch after patch. Better yet, the game happens to be the talk of the town when it comes to the gaming community, so it's great to see one of the better versions of the game get even better. There's little to no doubt that this title has caused a huge surge in Stadia users and that very subject was the recent topic in yesterday's video. So if you're interested in hearing more about it, be sure to check out the annotation above, but for now let's move on to the next news topic which is a free game you can claim right now. Yeah, you heard that right, whether you're a Stadia Pro subscriber or just a free user, you can hop on Stadia right now and buy Krata outright for the sweet price of $0.00. The offer is going to be available for two weeks until January 5th, so be sure to take advantage of this pretty sweet deal. It should be noted that free members can claim the premium edition for free, but if you do happen to be a Stadia Pro subscriber, you can claim the deluxe edition instead. It comes with some bonus skins and other digital goodies for you to enjoy. In case you don't know what Krata is, well, the best way to describe it to you is that it's a game you can build games inside of. You can then share those games with the community at large and play with others. If you don't feel like creating them, well, you can just be like me and enjoy playing the creations that others make. As you can tell, it's a very community-driven game, and it just so happens to be a Stadia exclusive, so giving it away for free right now is a fantastic idea. As I mentioned earlier, the release of Cyberpunk 2077 certainly brought more eyes and users to Stadia, so it makes sense to make this sort of move to both attract and keep these new users. Now, to be perfectly clear, these are very, very, and I mean very, different games. But Krata happens to be a game that really does need a bigger community to fully take advantage of what it's capable of. And nothing sounds more enticing to users than the words free, especially knowing that it's not originally supposed to be. But now let's go over a quick bit of news because a new Stadia Pro game is claimable today. If you're a Stadia Pro member, you can hop onto the Stadia store right now and claim Cthulhu Saves Christmas. The game follows your favorite world-destroying monster as he takes on a journey to save Christmas. The game's a fast turn-based JRPG comedy that'll have you playing as Cthulhu along with the snow maiden Baba Yaga-chan, 
and you'll be tasked with rescuing Santa from the League of Christmas Evil. It's as crazy as it sounds, and trust me, it's hard to read this with a straight face, but from what I've heard, it's actually a very good JRPG if you're into those. It also happens to be very well written and hilarious to play through, so if you're up for a fun game for this holiday season, be sure to check it out. But since we're on the topic of Stadia Pro games, let's quickly take a look at the Stadia Pro games for January. Now this will be a bit of a run through, but I will be doing a more in depth video exploring each title real soon. So at the beginning of January, you'll be able to claim the games Ari and the Secret of Seasons, Figment, Hotline Miami, and F1 2020. The biggest highlight this month has to be F1 2020, it's still a relatively expensive title so it being given away on Stadia Pro is a pretty big deal. In addition to all that, it's worth mentioning that Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Breakthrough Edition is available to claim on Stadia Pro right now as well. That includes the Breakthrough Pack which gives you the Survivor Pass for the newest update, 5 levels on that pass, and a Fractured Spade Tank Top, Prototype Sweatpants, and OCW Slippers. And as an important reminder, December 31st will be your last chance to claim Celeste, Dead by Daylight, Ember, Guilt, Risk of Rain 2, and Rock of Ages 3. Be sure to claim them before they're gone, as you know, all the games you claim will be yours to keep as long as you have your subscription active. Even if you decide to let that subscription lapse, anything you've claimed while a Stadia Pro subscriber will still be there waiting for you to come back. Next up, let's take a look at the ridiculous amount of game sales going on on Stadia. Normally I would read out each deal for you, but there are just way too many to list in this video. So instead of doing that, I'll give you my top 3 recommendations while scrolling through the entire list in the background while I talk. If you want to see the full list for yourself, check out the description below, I'll have a link to the blog post right there where they're all listed. So if you ask me what games to pick up on sale, I highly recommend Doom Eternal Deluxe Edition for $29.69 US, or if you don't want to commit to the deluxe content, just buy the standard edition for $10 cheaper since it's priced at $19.79. If shooters aren't your type of thing, well then check out Octopath Traveler. It's a JRPG that's absolutely fantastic and well worth giving a shot. It comes priced in at $29.99. Now my third recommendation is going to be Sekido Shadows Die Twice. It's an amazing port of the game and it plays fantastically on Stadia, and it comes in priced at $38.99. All three of these are fantastic ports to Stadia and I would highly recommend them to anyone. It is also important to remind everyone that if you still happen to have your $10 off coupon for being a Stadia Pro member, you should be using it before January. That coupon expires then, so be sure to use it while you still got it. But now it's time we move on to the last bit of news for today's video. You see, giving away games isn't the only thing Google is doing to attract new users to the Stadia platform. They have now also made the free trial even easier to try. In order to get a free month of Stadia Pro, it used to be required that you input a payment method, and while technically that's still true, you can now at least try Stadia Pro for 30 minutes before it asks you to input any sort of payment info. This is a much bigger deal than it sounds like. It's pretty standard in any industry, no matter which you work for, that if you give a free trial, you're gonna be asking for payment information up front in the hopes that the user forgets to cancel their subscription till it's too late. But Google is now allowing anyone to actually try the service before needing to do this, effectively removing any sort of barrier from allowing a user to try Stadia out at its best. This is a really big deal, and I have to say it also speaks volumes about how confident Google is in their product. They're basically saying we're convinced that if you try this out for 30 minutes, you'll be left wanting more. If that ends up being you, well then you can put that card info and enjoy the rest of your free month. Honestly speaking, I have to give a lot of credit to Google for making some huge moves as of recent. They are really going all out with the marketing and making most of the recent boost they got with Cyberpunk. Even prior to its release, they focused on pushing out some big features many have been wanting, be it messaging, family sharing, or even very very recent features like iOS support. All of this together is really making Stadia come into its own in a big way, and it's great to see so much positive news for Google Stadia as a whole. Either way, that covers all the Stadia news I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Today's end of video question will be asking you for what ideas you have that could lead to more interest on Google Stadia. 
Bonus points to any of you who can come up with something that isn't bringing a game over like Fortnite, Call of Duty, or FIFA. As always, thank you for watching the video. This has been Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related. The Gen S community is over 7,200 strong and growing by the day. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.